Greetings to you, my dear friend. I sincerely hope that you and your family are very well by the grace of God. In James chapter 4, verse 4, the Bible says, Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. In 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, the Bible tells us, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. In Matthew 5, 14, we read, Ye are the light of the world. And in verse 13, we read, Ye are the salt of the earth. What am I trying to say? In these verses, we see two classes, the believer and the world. The world is the place of the unbeliever. The kingdom of God received by faith in the life of the person who submits to Christ. That person, those persons represent the kingdom of God on earth. The Bible tells us the world has nothing to offer you with regard to salvation. The world should not set standards for God's people. It should be the other way around. When God sent the disciples out to preach, and by God I mean Jesus Christ, he said in Matthew 28 verse 19, Go ye therefore and teach all nations. You are to teach the nations, not the nations teach you. Because the nations have nothing to teach you regarding salvation and a righteous life. Now, having said that, let us go to the fourth commandment and listen carefully to its wording. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. The stranger was an unbeliever. The stranger, for all practical purposes, represented the world. And God told the Israelites, a stranger among you should follow your standards, not the other way around. The stranger within your gates, whether your house or your village or your city or your territory, should live by your standards. That is not forcing standards on people. It is simply God letting his people know, do not follow the standards of the unbeliever. And I want to direct this particularly to any young person listening to me, because the youth are easily influenced by their unbelieving friends. But the fourth commandment, above all the other commandments, makes it clear that we are to so influence the unbeliever that he or she will follow the standards of God, not the other way around, because the world of the unbeliever has nothing on the basis of salvation to offer the child of God. As you keep the Sabbath holy, my friend, whether you're young or not young, remember, you are not to follow the standards of the unbeliever. The unbeliever should be moved and influenced by your lifestyle so that he or she follows the law of God. May the Lord bless you as you stand for what is righteous and right, so that by your influence, others may come to know the way of salvation. God bless you, doubly bless your children, as you keep the Sabbath holy.